former President John Ajekum Kufo of Ghana. Welcome here. We are thinking about the Millennium Development Goals. Yeah. As one of the foremost leaders from Africa, when we look at one critical action, one most important action that must be taken in order to advance progress towards the achievement of the MDGs, in your view, what would that one critical action be? It must be the partnership amongst the subscribers, and when I say that, it means the whole of the United Nations, the world community. We must uh, submit to partnerships uh, with common view of helping lift uh, the countries uh, more or less afflicted uh, out of the whole up to uh, a situation that would be acceptable and that would qualify for uh, achieving the goals by 2015 and beyond. Critically, when you say partnerships, President Kufo, give us an example. You were president um, of Ghana for eight years. Yes. You, you, you probably had frustrations mm -hmm. or you had challenges in getting these partnerships to work. Mm -hmm. Specifically, how do you want to see these partnerships help towards the achievement of the MDGs? Uh, uh, by the way the MDGs are structured, it seems countries have gone after them uh, as individual separate entities. Uh, but they are all interlinked. And so I would suggest that the donor community as well as the recipient nations should coordinate um, their affairs in such a way that uh, uh, there's no duplication of effort uh, to waste limited resources, that uh, the civil society organizations, the uh, multilateral institutions, UN and related organizations, uh, the national governments, all of them should be at one in pursuit of, um, say, hunger, poverty reduction, uh, uh, fighting of diseases, uh, the unemployment, uh, women mortality, the mortality of mothers and children. These are all interconnected and uh, it's very important that uh, the center comes up to take a global view of things and to oversee how things are connected so uh, we rationalize the attack on the goals um, see human society <laughs> comes integrated in its efforts. Uh, it's not like you're going to pursue poverty and find ways to reduce poverty among people. And then uh, other things like um, education, healthcare, infrastructure development, private sector connection, they are separate. You finish with fighting poverty before you go to uh, wealth creation or anything else. So they all happen together. And I think if um, the efforts will be looked at in ways that would let us appreciate how they are connected. Uh, so uh, even as the international community would zoom in on a community, a, a nation, they go to help with a government overall policy, uh, which would have within it a knock on affect one on the other, if it's education and health, uh, if it's uh, education and um, it's a provision of good water. That I'm chair of water, uh, sanitation and water for all. Uh, I'll tell you, yes to me, water is life, but then what type of water? And uh, if you are talking sanitation, how do you achieve sanitation without water? If you are talking hygiene, it comes in. A child misses uh, the toilet, he must or he or she must come out to wash their hands. So it's, it's all connected. And then we are also talking nutrition these days. Uh, you know, coming from Ghana, that contaminated soils, 
to generate the worms that a child playing on the soil without washing hands would infect himself or herself and then parasites develop in them and you are thrown back. Such a child cannot focus in school. Uh, if you are growing up, worms attack all of us. You can't be productive. So uh, it's, I do not like compartmentalizing. That's why I talk of the partnership to look at the whole thing in an integrated way and to move against it. Of but course, we set the priorities, but the, this total picture must come before we begin to move. We thank you very much. Yedawa Sibebre, President John Kufo. Thank you. Thank you.